Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting luxury haul for you guys. The first one comes in this little bag from Dior and it was not a planned purchase, seriously, because I had already posted my entire collection of costume jewelry, designer costume jewelry, uh, video for you guys last week and right after I posted that video I found this uh, one day when I was just browsing <laughs> at Hope Renfrew which is I guess it's bad to browse but anyway I'm so glad that I found this because this is so so cool if you guys haven't seen that video yet I will make sure to link it down below as well as up in the corner here but uh, without further ado let's unbox this so I got this last week um, here's the proof of purchase there we go, this is empty and oh, it's just wrapping paper to reveal. Oh, it's super nicely done, too nicely done. So anyway, um, the sale associate that was helping me, his name was, I think his name was Jimmy and it's pretty funny because I found out, well, we were chatting and I found out that he is actually, actually from Montreal as well and he had just moved here uh, about a year ago so it's kind of funny because they saw my account and they recognized that my account number it's one of those numbers from the east coast so they could tell that I'm also from Montreal which is kind of funny small world so here you go that's the box and that's the little dust bag that contains oh there's actually a little booklet inside. I didn't get this for my other pair. That's interesting. There's the instructions. I didn't get this with my other one, although I already know how to care for my jewelry anyway. So here you go. It They all come in the little dust bag like this. To reveal... So there's two sides. Um, this is the first side, the amazing side. So. This is the Jadzior um, ear jacket and it's so amazing. It has a star in front and then the ear jacket, which is the piece that goes in the back, has Jadzior and it's so cool. And the other piece is a little bee. <laughs> I'll put, I'll make sure they put close-ups, but basically it's another ear jacket, but a tiny little sort of small ear jacket with a bee in front and the tail of the bee in the back and I think that's so so darn cute. Uh, what really drew, drew me to this pair was um, the Jadzial because I've always liked the line, their bags and everything that's came out since and um, I guess I haven't really been able to add a bag from them. It, it's just, I don't know, I just haven't done it and then I saw these and I was automatically drawn to them so right after I tried them and they look so good on me I decided to just pick them up. So this is the bee and the tail of the bee is the jacket so the the back of the earring it says Dior in there and I'm holding the the little tail here so basically that's the jacket and it goes on like this. The other side has uh, this little star as the front of the earring and then it has this Jadzia jacket so this is the back of the earring and I love this side I basically bought these because of the Jadzia and um, in case you guys are wondering what it means I mean you all know that Zia is the Christian Zia is the designer of the fashion house and Jadzia is just a play on words on with his name uh, because j'adore is um, means I love or I adore and they're just using his name as a play on words so there you go here are the earrings on me aren't they cool I don't know is this is this a good side to wear my earrings actually hmm let me check decided to change sides and um yeah i think it's so cute <laughs> so this is the side with the b and this is the side with the jazia i feel like uh, the j 
uh, closer to my face looks nicer. I don't know why, I just feel that way. Even though my hair tends to hide it most of the time, but at least whenever my, I flip my hair or whenever um, I put it like in the back, then people will see it. And um, yeah, it's so cool, right guys? It's so, it's so amazing, I love it. Like I said, I have built up a more classic collection of costume jewelry that I love and I feel like I have pretty much all the combinations that I can possibly get to dress up almost any outfit. And now I'm just looking for pieces that are extra special and super interesting. Uh, so these pair were actually a little bit more expensive. Um, in Canada, they are 530 plus tax. Um, I checked the UK website and it's only 290 pounds in the UK, which is amazing uh, because the I remember the um, classic tribal earrings, so just the classic plain white pearl tribal that I got. Um, those ones are 270 pounds, so for an extra 20 pounds, you're getting these ones. So I think that's really, really amazing. And these are just, I don't know, they're just extra special and super edgy. I think these would look so good when you pull your hair back like this. Yeah, oh my gosh, it looks so good like this. My next reveal is from Fendi and I'll just show you what it came in. It comes in this Farfetch box. Yes, I did get it from Farfetch. Inside that box, there was this box, which is, um, I'm not gonna show you the sticker because then you'll see what the heck it is, but it basically came in this box and it has the, the sticker with the product uh, SKU and everything on it. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, um, I'll show it to you guys later. And then uh, it was really well wrapped in all these papers and it had um, a ribbon wrapped with it. So it was really, really nicely wrapped and it had all of these documentation in it. So Jillian is the store that had the bag and this is in Italy. So basically how Farfetch works, if you guys are not familiar, I put all the links down below. I'll also put the link of the exact bag that I have. So the way I understand it is that Farfetch um, is able to aggregate or, or allow boutiques or luxury boutiques to um, participate in, in, I guess, selling their items with Farfetch uh, or as part of Farfetch. So whenever you order something, whichever boutique has it in stock, they will be the ones sending it to you. So, so it can come from UK, Italy, Spain, France, Toronto, USA, it doesn't matter as long as where it is in stock, that's like where the item is in stock, that's where it's gonna come from. So uh, it happened to be from this store in Italy, Jillian. And yeah, I think this is just like a poster from their store. Receipts, um, all the details with the VAT and everything and the return um, labels and everything. So with Farfetch, you're able to also return the item if you're not satisfied with them, I think within 14 days. It comes in this dust bag, a drawstring dust bag to reveal. Oh, so beautiful, oh my gosh. I can't get over how beautiful it is, so. So this is the Fendi Can I bag in medium size and mine is the scallop version. I, I don't know if I've seen a medium size that's not scallop version actually. Actually I have, uh, but it I think it has like a different pattern. Uh, it, they have one that's like their uh, velvet and their like the Fendi monogram one that's really really cool but it's like eight thousand dollars uh anyway i was super attracted to this dusty pink color and so oh it's so nice and um yeah at first i wasn't even sure about the color because i always choose black like you guys know and i almost went with the black but i decided that i'm not gonna just like order anything and return it so i decided to go to the store and try it out so i went to my local store they did happen to have this color and they did happen to have the white not white i think they had the cream the light pink and also the black color and i tried all of them and i fell in love with this color um so yeah, I'm so happy that it's in my hot hands. And the reason why I decided to go with Farfetch is just because it's cheaper. Uh, honestly, um, 
I've just been been so happy shopping online lately. It's just so easy. You don't even have to go out. I guess you have to go out to try it out if you want to. But it's just been an amazing experience for me so far and I've had nothing but really good service uh, with Farfetch as well. Like every time I call them to ask questions, they were really, really helpful and just really, really nice. Same with Matches Fashion. Um, so I highly recommend these online stores. So anyway, I'll make sure to link this one down below. And the reason why I went with Farfetch among all the other stores that are out there, such as Neta Porte or like Luisa Via Roma or like, I um, can't remember the other ones off the top, but the reason why I went with Farfetch is because their price was the most reasonable for this bag. So you do have to kind of look around and shop around for your country. For me, uh, when I was looking around, this was the store that was the cheapest. And um, unfortunately, there was no coupon code or anything. And as far as I could tell, in the US, there is a 10% off first order coupon. However, it wouldn't work for Fendi anyway. They, they have a lot of brand restrictions. So I think anything like Gucci, Fendi, like any of those big brands, they, they, they don't work anyway. So it's kind of mute, um, a mute point. So uh, even after that, it was still the cheapest at Farfetch. It comes with this tag uh, that's attached to the bag and if you cut it, then you keep the bag. Obviously, I just got the bag, so I'm gonna make sure that I inspect it further to make sure that it's 100% okay before I go ahead and cut it. But other than that, like, I'm sure that if it's 100% okay, I'm gonna be keeping it because it's so pretty. And it will go with any color outfit, honestly, because it's such a neutral pink. Uh, it will go super well with gray, obviously, very well with black as well, but any light color outfit. So let me show you what's inside. Um, so there's these cards in it. And I already know that there's no authenticity card because Fendi is using um, RFID technology to authenticate their bag. So there is a an actual cloth tag inside that has an RFID chip in it and so basically that's how they authenticate their bags and it says so in their documentation here. These are all the uh, little tags that came with it so there's a Fendi tag, Fendi Roma with like a, one of those like security tags I think and this is um, so yeah this is the tag that tells you about the radio frequency um, technology. This is the product card that I have and I guess this is the information that is contained in my RFID. I'm not sure if there is a serial number there, so I'm not going to show it. But basically, my bag is produced in 2017, and it's called English Rose, the color. I had to put my hair up because I was getting really hot. So basically, uh, as far as I know, this bag was launched last year, and um, I think they only had the small size in the boutiques even though I think they did have this size in the runway show but it wasn't sold yet I think and then this year they they uh, released this size and the scallop edged um, in the boutique so that you're able to buy it and so between the two sizes when I tried it I mean I think the smaller size was really really cute similar size to the square mini from Chanel I think it's slightly roomier but uh, this size is definitely a lot roomier and it's very comparable to the pochette mitsis and I tried the same content in both bags and I have to say that this one actually fits a little bit more if you wanted to. I personally wouldn't really stuff it just because um, I, if you can tell this this has like a tapered sort of design so the more you stuff it the more distorted the shape will be and this is also a softer leather I don't know if you can tell it's still structured but it still is a softer smooth leather so you don't want to like overstuff your bag although it does fit more I think it slightly fits more than the Borsche Mitsis mind you they're very similar anyway so as far as the collection goes that's um that's what I know about it. Um, I think the new colors uh, that are coming in the fall are gray, there is a tan brown, and what other colors did I see that is coming? I think there's a yellow. Um, yeah, that's all I know for now. But these are seasonal colors as far as I was told, so this color will be discontinued soon. 
if you guys are on the hunt for this or if you guys are looking for something like this I'd suggest that you guys go ahead and try to get it soon because I don't know when they'll be discontinued I know that I was watching this bag for a while I, or I was contemplating about this bag for a while when it was on Matches Fashion and then it was sold out it just never came back it ended up being almost the same because um, Farfetch prices are a little lower the back looks like this the side and the bottom so all the stitching there's like stitching all along the bag like this and all the sides are glazed because this is a leather bag I'm not too concerned about the glazing wearing off eventually because these are things that will happen eventually um, leather doesn't intend to crack like canvas does so I'm okay with that and you can see that all the hardware is so amazing oh this these all these straps are detachable so this is a smaller strap for handheld and I hooked it onto those two rings but you can basically hook it onto whichever ring you want so there's a one little small ring here one small ring in the back and there's this main ring where the chain um, is looping through so I just had both of these rings together with my strap and it has this green color glazing against the dusty pink leather and it has these grommets that says Fendi on it the attention to detail is just out of this world uh, this clip is super substantial it says Fendi on it on both sides it's just super well made and you can detach the strap and use it on any of your other bags if you want it to and just use your bag like this without the the strap although I don't know why I would do that because I really like this strap I think it goes super well with this bag and then the bag um, you can also detach this strap because I did do it I had to fix the, the there was some tangling uh, or just twisting with this this chain I think the whoever played with it prior they must have not done it properly when they put it back together it's okay I think it's still a brand new bag but it's just that someone must have detached it and didn't put it back together properly so I had to undo it and redo it so that the, the chains wouldn't twist it but basically you can remove the strap from these these little um, settings here and I try to do it by hand and it was really really hard so I ended up using one of those um, tools and I made sure to wrap the leather with really really thick um, fabric so I use one of those LV dust bags to hold it you can wear it on the shoulder on a shorter setting like this doubled up or you can also wear it as a crossbody or on your shoulder with this longer setting as well and I love that this chain has this really cool sound it opens like so with this lock here you just press the thing on the side here and it opens quite easily and so yeah that's the inside of the bag it's lined with suede microfiber suede and it has a couple compartments with another slip pocket here on the back and there is an RFID tag here on the side here I don't know if you can see it's right there so it's really spacious as you can see so a few things that I noticed is that this lock is not always easy to to close if your bag is empty so I, I don't know why some, some locks are just not easy to close when they're empty so that's why I found you kind of have to either press down on the top or really um, just you know hold here and, and move it down a little so that's one con the other con is because these little rings um, I was trying to hook just the, st the shorter strap on the front ring but if your bag is heavy and you have stuff in it then you'd be pulling the bag like this so I don't know if you can see these this um, this d-ring here will be kind of forward it was kind of it would kind of be rotated forward or backwards rather and right now it's empty right so that's one con if you're just using like one side of the ring so that's why I use both sides um, and I think in terms of structure it's still kind of like a soft softly structured bag so you can sort of distort the shape of your bag if you really fill it out the other thing that I, I think might happen over time is the wear and tear so because it is still a I mean it's it's a thick leather but it's still a softer leather so I feel like these sides here they may uh, eventually with use they may like sort of 
I don't know, bend outwards or inwards, I'm not sure. Uh, just because these are just, you know, these sides are just basically, um, you know, that's that's the base of the bag. I don't know how, I don't know over time how long uh, or how it will wear in terms of, you know, the edges and everything. But other than that, everything is super well made. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the reveal and the what's my bag and these beautiful earrings. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you subscribe by clicking on that notification bell and the subscribe button below. I do post several times a week, uh, but my first video is always on Monday. So yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are having a great week and uh thanks so much for watching oh by the way if you guys are wondering this is a tuxedo dress uh blazer i don't even know how to call it but basically this is really really cute i'll link it down below if you guys are interested i i love that it has these ruffles i think it just goes super well with my new bag uh, but honestly with my new bag it just goes well with any color like i'll show with my my big um gray coat it looks great with gray and black and just any any light color as well so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll talk to you again very soon bye